All right, more wet weather in the region today, bringing the potential for flash flooding. So yes. how long will this stick around, Tracy? Well, we now have the opportunity for some flash flooding where they had the August complex fire that runs until 8 o'clock tonight. And we also have that flash flood watch in effect for where you had the mosquito fire currently. That's in effect through this evening. So we still have a few hours to go. Take a live look outside looking out with the tower bridge right there in the bottom right hand corner. We still have clouds out there. You're going to see some breaks of sunshine, but we also have the opportunity for more storm clouds. So I gave you a very foreboding background, right? What to expect? Flash flood watches continue for the mosquito burn scar and the August complex burn scar areas. Cool and unsettled weather continues. Fast moving showers and thunderstorms could give way to soil that loosens and could cause some debris flows near some of those burn scar areas. And later on this week, Plenty of sunshine building back in. We will be drier and warmer, and the weather is actually going to be very nice. Outside right now is 69 in Sacramento, 70 in Vacaville, 71 in Stockton, 72 in Modesto. We got the mid-60s coming in through the foothills, 71 in San Andreas, 50 in Truckee, and 48 degrees in South Lake Tahoe. So here's a look at the thunderstorm threat. It is for the northern edge of the state all the way down to Sacramento, just outside of Stockton. It includes parts of the Bay Area through the foothills as well as the Sierra. Lightning, brief, heavy rain fall small size tail all in the forecast. Now here's a look at the flash flood watches that we have. Now we've always had the one with the mosquito burn scar area, but just today the National Weather Service added a flash flood watch for the August complex burn scar uh, and asking that you prepare for potential flooding impacts. If any of those thunderstorms like the ones that we had that rolled through Woodland earlier yesterday were to roll through your area, you could have to evacuate. So that's something that you need to be prepared for. You as well as for your family. Now we have this one. Now move out the way so you can see it. That's the mosquito fire burn scar area, asking that you also prepare for potential flooding impacts depending on how those thunderstorms and showers develop today. Here's a look at the smoke that is associated with the mosquito fire. You can see it's still drifting off to parts of the Grass Valley area. It's really pushing off to the north as well as the west because why? Most of those showers coming in from the south and pushing up toward the north around that low pressure system. System. So here we go. I married the two together. You got your thunderstorm threat, the flash flood threat, and no big surprise, they're running in tandem with one another, and they will be a big part of our forecast for today. So here's a satellite in the radar, and again, you can see those showers coming from the south, pushing up toward the north, right? That's that nice counterclockwise circulation we talk about, and we're already seeing some thunderstorms coming in across parts of the Sierra right now, moving into Reno. It's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. As we move in with your future, cast here. You can see two o'clock in the afternoon. This particular model showing still an opportunity for showers, especially for the higher terrain for the afternoon and parts of the coastal mountain ranges. Now we start to get to five o'clock in the evening. Not a lot of activity projected for the valley floor but you never know where a thunderstorm could develop, right? So we have the best chance of showers in that coastal mountain range, as well as for the upper foothills and also into the Sierra. Later on tonight, you lose the daytime heating, the atmosphere begins to stabilize, and you can see less activity. Still got plenty of clouds though. And then you come into Wednesday, and I still got a few pop up, just showers, just a few lingering nuisance showers. I just don't want to get out of Dodge just yet. But eventually that low pressure system is going to rotate out. It's going to take all of that along with it. So how much rainfall could we pick up? Well, we're not expecting anything like what we had the past couple of days, but of course this is all based on model data, not on if a thunderstorm develops over your region. That part is not in this forecast model. So you can see the darker shade of green here. That's the best opportunity for picking up a half of an inch of rainfall. The lighter shade of green showing an additional quarter of an inch. And of course, where you have the higher terrain, you have a better likelihood. If you get caught in some of those thunderstorms, you can see, well, over an inch. I mean, Woodland picked up four inches yesterday. Still got a few spotty showers in the forecast Wednesday. After that, we are high. We are dry with temperatures rebounding to near 90 degrees. But Dina, not out of the woods just yet. Still got a busy afternoon on tap. Yeah, you've got a busy week. All right, yeah, thank no. you. Well,